Hey, hey, everyone. It's Victoria McCooey, founder of the Divorce Course for Women. It's one o'clock on a Monday, and that means it's time for a Manic Monday. So here I am. And you know, usually I have notes and cards and things to um, remind me of all the points I want to make, but I do not even have to do that this time because this is a topic I talk about to people all the time, like daily. Someone is coming to me with a problem around this area, which is how do you cope with when your ex is not showing up for your kids? Like, so first of all, before we get going, as always, please type into the comments, hashtag live if you're watching this live with me right now, or if you're watching a replay, type in hashtag replay. All right, thanks. So now we'll get to it. Here is the most recent comment from uh, one of, someone in my communi community about this was that the dad uh, was not, told the child that he was not able to go to her award ceremony. Um, and the child was disappointed, but understood because dad works at night and he can't take time off. At the same time, mom heard from her friends that dad was going to a rock concert with a group of friends one night. So it boils down to dad can take off to go to a rock concert, but can't take off to go to his child's award ceremony. Well, the, the child doesn't know about the concert, but mom does. So, you know, mom comes to me and says, what, you know, I should call him out on this. Like, I, sh I want to call him up and say, what are you thinking? Like, you know, how can you put that above your kid's ceremony? That's like really important to her. What are you thinking? So I think you know what my answer is, right? It's like, dad is a grown ass man and he has to make his own choices. And they're not always going to be what you want him to do probably usually aren't going to be what you want him to do. He, this is why you're divorcing, right? You don't see things the same way. So dad's priority is not the child's award ceremony and that stinks, but that is the reality of it. So yeah, it's hard to cope with, but you cannot teach your ex how to parent. They're going to parent however they want. And in fact, if you try to coach them on how they should be parenting, believe me, they don't want to hear it from you, and they'll probably do exactly the opposite, I mean, just to spite you. Um, even if you're not in a contentious relationship, you know, uh, you're not married, and he does not want to hear from you how you feel about his parenting style. <clears throat> also, the kids have to one day learn what their dad's priorities are, even if it's not them. And it's a hard pill to swallow, but you can only protect your children from your ex, their other parent, so far. And you really shouldn't be. I mean, certainly you're not gonna rub their nose into it. In it. You're not gonna say, oh yeah, that really sucks that dad didn't go to your awards because you know, but he went to a concert. You're like, you would never do that, right? You don't want to make it worse, you know, do no harm, but you're also not going to um, try to fix him <clears throat> or try to hide the fact or sugarcoat it. Let them see their parent for who he really is. And eventually they have to forge their own relationship with this person. So the more they understand, the better. Um, and it's just a harsh reality of divorce that pa the parents' true colors, or true personalities will become more evident because you don't have the other spouse doing damage control. And the children will eventually, as they grow, learn what kind of person that parent is, how, what kind of relationship they want to have with that parent. Um, and so be it, you know, they make their own way. The parent, that parent makes his own way and has to deal with the, the fallout from his or her own choices. But certainly it is not your job, nor should you get involved in setting the other parent's priorities. All right, so just take that right off the table. And how do you cope with it? 
just like anything else, you have to let it go. You know, it's not your fight to fight. It's just, you have to give it up. Um, you want the best for your kids, I know. But how their other parent parents them is just not in your control. So try to understand that he took a separate journey than you did. You're, he's, he's got different background, different agendas, different, different uh, he got to this place on a different path than you did. So he has his own issues, his own things to deal with. And whatever, that was the right decision for him based on the tools he's using. So try to accept it, let it go. Don't get upset. Try to make things happy for your child when they're with you. All right. Don't dredge it up. That's the advice I have for you today. So I, as always, have a link in my post so that you can always book your first call with me for free. Um, one hour consultation with me for free. I have available slots on my calendar. There's a link in the post to go right there. Um, also, if you have issues you'd like for me to discuss on next week's Manic Monday, email them to me. That way, no one sees your name. It is always totally private, um, completely confidential. So email me at victoria at divorcecourseforwomen.com. All right. I hope to see you next week and thanks for joining me.